Welcome to part B of the CNE program, which deals with nursing perspectives with regard to COVID-2019. Part B has a series of five videos dealing with infection prevention, infection control, that is COVID-2019, hand hygiene, use of personal protective equipment, surface cleaning and disinfection, and hospital nursing care of patients who are actively symptomatic. We will start with the broad responsibilities of nurses as healthcare personnel, which include the following. Follow established protocols for the assessment and management of patients. Ensure occupational safety, infection prevention and control. Treat patients with respect, compassion, dignity. Maintain patients' confidentiality. Follow public health reporting procedures of suspected and confirmed cases, including self-monitoring, and manage related mental health challenges. COVID-2019 is basically an infection, a respiratory infection. And therefore, the most important management principle is infection prevention and control. Nurses play a major role in this regard, including the direct implementation of many of the strategies involved in infection prevention and control. Let's first talk about prevention, which is always far more cost effective. Some key messages that the nurse can provide to the community in this regard. These messages are available on the website of the WHO and the ministry, and we are well aware of these, but let's quickly go through these. The first one, it's practice social distancing. This is very important to contain the infection, so explain the rationale behind it to people so that they are better able to adjust and comply. Stay at home as much as possible. Avoid large gatherings and closed places. Maintain at least one meter distance between you and others when you are in a public place. Avoid physical contact like handshakes, etc. Avoid touching surfaces like tabletops, chairs, door handles. These are called high touch surfaces and more on this later. Practice hygiene. Under this, practice hand washing frequently, using an alcohol-based hand wrap if hands are not visibly dirty or with soap and water when your hands are visibly dirty. Always cover your nose and mouth with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Do not spit in public. This will help to limit droplet spread. Remember to wash your hands before you touch your eyes, nose, mouth. Ensure that objects and surfaces are regularly cleaned. Use masks definitely if you have symptoms like cough, fever, breathing difficulty, you're caring for someone who is suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19, change the mask every six hours or whenever it becomes wet. Inform the nurse or healthcare worker. If you have traveled to COVID-19 affected places in the past two weeks, you have come into close contact with a suspected or confirmed COVID-19 individual, or if you have symptoms suggestive of COVID-2019. How not to wear a mask? We see people walking on the road wearing a mask which hangs around their neck and so forth. It's important to teach people how to use a mask correctly because an improperly worn mask does more harm than good. Here are some don'ts in this regard. Don't leave your chin exposed. Don't wear the mask in a way that it does not cover your nose. Don't wear the mask loosely with gaps on the sides. Don't push the mask around your chin to rest on your neck. Don't allow it to hang loosely around your neck. A couple of do's. Wear your mask so that it covers your nose, mouth and chin. Secure the loops or ties so that it fits snugly around your face. The next one. As far as prevention is concerned, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and staying positive. This has already been addressed in Part A of this CNE. 
Okay, so we were talking about infection prevention, that's COVID-19. Under that, the first one, we went through some key messages that the nurse can provide to the community. Now let's look at some precautions to be followed by the community health nurse herself when, as she goes about her work in the field. Carry your own sanitizer or soap, masks, notebook and pen. Use a three-ply mask to cover your face. Avoid touching your face. Avoid touching doorbells, door handles, support rails, high touch surfaces rather. Wash your hands with soap and water for 40 seconds frequently or use a 70% alcohol-based hand rub. Maintain a distance of one meter when you meet people and if possible, talk to the family by sitting in the open.